Today on Engineering Newswire, brought to you by Interpower, the premier supplier of power system components for worldwide markets, we're mastering sobriety with nanocapsules, making squishy robots jump, and giving cyborg rats a sixth sense. Con lo terrorista. Researchers have developed a new nanocapsule that wraps alcohol digesting enzymes in a nanoscale polymer to quickly reduce blood alcohol content. Researchers injected the inebriated mice with nanocapsules full of enzymes that are instrumental in alcohol metabolism. The group not only sobered the little vermin, but created a unique drug delivery technology that could disrupt the medical industry. According to UCLA professor Young Fang Lu, the treatment would be like adding millions of liver cells to your stomach to help digest alcohol. Professor Liu even envisions a time when this alcohol antidote could be taken orally. The group of innovators didn't stop there. They're also partnering with pharmaceutical company Kythera on a hair loss prevention drug that uses the same nanocapsules to deliver an enzyme that breaks down DHT, which causes male pattern baldness. Such great news nearly makes me want a Harlem Shake. I said almost, Megan. Soft robot technology has already managed to stand, walk, squeeze under obstacles, and change color. Now the squishy automatons are jumping. Researchers at Harvard University are using small explosions produced by a mix of methane and oxygen to make a soft robot leap as much as a foot in the air. That ability to jump could one day prove critical in allowing the robots to avoid obstacles during search and rescue operations, or a new method of attack when they become sentient. But I digress. As with other soft robots, the three-legged jumping system begins life as a mold created by a 3D printer. The robots are molded using soft silicone that allows them to stretch and flex. Where their pneumatic brethren are connected to tubing that pumps air, the jumping robots are connected to tubes that deliver a precisely controlled mix of mildly explosive chemicals. Using high voltage wires embedded in each leg of the robot, researchers deliver a spark to ignite the gases, causing a small explosion that sends the robot into the air. Robots and explosions. Yeah, it's that cool. The incorporation of a simple valve into each leg of the robot has provided the proper control for calculated jumps without the loss of appendages. The researchers hope that this method of controlled combustion will eventually be used to help soft robots stand and walk. No, Megan. Scientists at Duke University have used a brain-machine interface to augment rats with a sort of sixth sense, the ability to detect invisible infrared light by sense of touch. The rats were placed in a chamber containing three LED lights, which were located above small ports. The rats were taught to stick their noses in the port of the lighted LED and would receive a sip of water as a reward if they chose correctly. Infrared detectors were then attached to the rats' foreheads and wired into their brains using an array of stimulating microelectrodes which were implanted in the cortical region of the brain that processes tactile information from the facial whiskers. The LEDs, meanwhile, were replaced with infrared lights that were too weak to give off any detectable heat, because like all mammals, rats are unable to see infrared light. When the rats were returned to the chamber, their detectors would send their brains a touch signal whenever one of the lights illuminated. Those signals would get stronger as the rats got closer to the light source. Based on this observation, the researchers believe it's possible that if people lack a sense due to damage to the area of the brain associated with that particular type of sensory input, they may be able to regain it by going through another part of the brain. Hmm, people that lack sense. Con lo terrorista. The Chevrolet Corvette line of vehicles is infamous for introducing new materials to improve weight and performance. Now, General Motors has developed lightweight shape memory alloy actuation technology. Whew. Basically, a coil that remembers its original state has replaced heavier motorized actuators in the vehicle. These shape memory alloys are smart materials that can change their shape, strength, and or stiffness when activated by heat, stress, a magnetic field, or electrical voltage. Considering there are about 200 motorized movable parts on the typical car that could be replaced with lightweight smart materials, GM is looking at significant mass reduction going forward. 
Utilizing shape memory alloy helps remove unwanted mass, which can improve vehicle performance and fuel economy. The wire actuator used on the new Corvette is approximately half a kilogram lighter than a conventional motorized system. They're only using the new technology in the trunk of the vehicle at the moment, but there's a lot of promise for the future of lightweight shape memory alloy action smart materials. The University of Surrey is set to launch the world's first smartphone-based satellite, which is built around a Google Nexus One smartphone. The Strand One will also be the UK's first CubeSat to go into space, weighing only 9.5 pounds and standing at 11.8 inches tall. The design team completed the build and testing within just three months, and state that this nano satellite is only lacking solar panels and propulsion. Running on the Android operating system, the Strand One also packs a new high-speed Linux-based SA computer and will also include the very first 3D printed part in space. The Strand Two will include Kinect motion control sensors to let the nanosats seek each other out and dock to form a new, larger satellite. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For PD&D TV, I'm David Manti and this has been your Engineering Newswire.